Hello, welcome to another Premiere Pro tutorial. As you just see in my screen, this is what we're gonna be creating today. You know, this is the part three of the tutorial. And so let me show you what we're gonna be creating at the end. And this will be the final result. As you see, as I promised the first tutorial, you can watch on my YouTube channel. I will leave the link in the description, of course. And this is what we will be creating at the end. So we're going to just uh, do it by parts because it takes too long. Okay, so let me close this and also let me close this and let me open my Premiere. I already have my Premiere open. So we're going to start with, you know, a rectangle. So let me go ahead and pick the rectangle tool. Let me just drag a rectangle. And we're going to have fill instead of having, you know, stroke. So let me just maybe go ahead and have the same color that I like. You can have any color you like. So we're going to go ahead and align to the center. Once we have this, we're going to make sure this is at the beginning, as you see. And then what we're going to do is create a little burner and the center as we saw the preview. So let me pick the uh, rectangle tool again, make sure it's selected. We're going to go ahead and make sure to put this 100% so we can see the size. Let me just drag maybe right there. So we're going to go ahead and change maybe the color just, you know, for a moment. And then we're going to go ahead and make sure to align to the center as well. And make sure the move tool is selected. We're going to go ahead and zoom in for 100%. Actually, let me just go back and fit. We're going to go and move the anchor point down here in the bottom and center, of course. So let me just zoom in and, uh, for 100%. So let me go ahead and make sure this is in the center down in the bottom. Cool. And then what we're going to do is let me just go ahead and maybe 50% now. And then we're going to go ahead and create the text. So pick the text tool and type whatever you want. And also we're going to go ahead and maybe change the color, you know, maybe white for or black. Let me just go black for the moment. And then we're going to go ahead and uh, align to the center. And also we're going to go and, you know, the size is a little big. So you can go ahead and scale down and also, you know, the font style you can, you know, download. I will leave the link in the description in case you want to use the same. And this is what we have. And then let me go 100% just to have a nice view. And then what we're going to do is create the logo with a circle. So let me go ahead and make sure selected and pick the circle shape tool. And holding down shift, you know, just drag maybe right there. It doesn't show because it has a different color. So let me uncheck this and put all in stroke. And we're going to go ahead and change the color just, you know, maybe three. Pixels is fine, so we're going to go ahead and align to the same as well. And then we're going to go ahead and type the letters of the logo, of course. So we're going to go ahead. You can add an image if you want. So let me just type NC. And we're going to go ahead and make sure, you know, align to the center. And then what we're going to do is, uh, you know, increase the size a little bit, you know, right there. So then align again to the center. And then what we're going to do is before doing anything else, we're going to go ahead and make sure. Let me close all those on the effect control. And then we're going to go ahead and play right here, the essential graphic panel. So we're going to go and type this. We're going to rename red. And this we're going to go and rename banner. And this we're going to go and rename stroke. Beautiful. Then what we're going to do is make sure the stroke and the NC in my case. So we're going to go and hold on command, select both of them. And we're going to just, uh, you know, hold on ship, move a little bit up just on the top of the text right there. So you see, let me change the stroke to another color so we can see better. So let me just go and change this to maybe purple just for a moment so we can change later, of course. And this is what we have just right out about the text. Okay, so what we're going to do is once we have renamed it, everything, we're going to go and uncheck all of them except the red uh, layer or shape in this case. And we're going to go one second long and we're going to start animating. So we're going to go in here, make sure the red is selected. We're going to go here and we're going to play with position. So we're going to add a keyframe, go 
at the beginning, you know, and we're going to just make sure this is 50% maybe. And we're going to go ahead and move all the way up, you know. Beautiful. And then we're going to go, as you know, so we're going to just, you know, make sure it's slow animation. So we're going to go, as you know, so we're going to just go right here, right there. So we're going to go and play. And this is what we have. Beautiful. Once we have this, we need to go make sure it's selected the red in this case. And we're going to go double click, duplicate. And we're going to move this down here. And we're going to go ahead and rename image mask. Okay. And then what we're going to do is, you know, change the color. And then we're going to go ahead and maybe go two frames, not seconds. Make sure two frames, not seconds. And we're going to open this and make sure the mask select image mask selected and we're going to go and select the keyframes and just move a little bit i mean those two frames right there so if we close this if we play and this is what we have right now then we're going to go ahead and make sure select and we're going to play with the banner so let me change the color the same that we have in here the stroke or whatever we have in the background let me go ahead and make sure one second the same basically and we're gonna go, uh, you know, make sure it's selected. So let me go ahead and close all of them right here to have a space basically. Let's go. The banner selected. Let me just drop this down, close this, maybe just go transform, of course. And we're gonna go and add a keyframe and then go at the beginning. And let me just go all the way up, you know, right there. And then we're gonna go here and just, uh, you know, smooth the animation. If we close and play, and this is what we have. Beautiful. Then what else we need to do is go ahead and choose the text in this case. So let me go put this right here. So we're going to go basically one second long. And we're going to go make sure the text is selected. Let me go here. And opacity, we're going to go ahead and put 0% right here. So what is the opacity? Close everything. Just the text, you know, so let me go pass it as I say, 0%. And add a keyframe. Go five frames long, so it will be one second, five frames. And then we're going to go and say 100%. Of course, so we need to put this down the bottom, you know, under the banner in this case. So we're going to go and select the banner. We're going to go at one second, five frames. We're going to go ahead and just pull this down so let me go ahead and we're going to play with the skill so let me uncheck this uniform skill and we're going to go ahead and add a keyframe right there and then we need to go ahead 15 frames so it will be 120 right so let me go ahead 120 frames one second 20 frames click enter and we're going to go ahead and say zero percent and this is what we will have cool and then what we're going to do is, you know, play, play with the stroke. So we got in here. So we're going to go ahead and maybe go and make sure right there. So it's uh, 120, of course, it was 120, remember. And then we're going to go ahead and just, you know, maybe add a, a marker, hit the M on the keyboard. So we will know where we can start the animation of the logo or the stroke in this case. And let me go ahead and go maybe um, 20 more frames. So it will be, in this case, will be 210. Of course, 2 seconds, 10 frames. And then we're going to go ahead and add a keyframe, of course, the uh, stroke. Let me just go make sure everything is close over here. Banner, just the stroke. So we're going to go ahead and add a keyframe at position and also the the letter so we're going to go ahead and make sure selected position of the keyframe so we're going to go and close everything basically right here close everything and we're going to go back to this marker which is 120 of course and then we're going to go and select the stroke and the letters in this case the logo if you have image and just pull up uh you know holding a ship just pull up right there 
Okay, if we play, this is what we will have. So, as you guess, we can go and just, you know, smooth out the animation. So, right click, you know, out of visitor, and then just move those handles. Same with the stroke. And let me close and play and see what we have. Beautiful. So we're gonna go ahead, as you know, we got 210 where the logo ends. And we're gonna go ahead and make sure play with the text. So we're gonna go and select the text. Make sure selected. We're gonna go ahead and add a keyframe on position. And then we're gonna go ahead maybe 10 frames, I mean 15 more frames. So we're gonna go to, will be 20, it was 25, right? 50 more frames, of course. And then we're gonna go ahead and move this a little bit down. Brighter. If we go and smooth the animation, right click, out of this here, dip this down, you know, just play a little bit this. And then let me close this and play. And this is what we have. Nice. So you can adjust. So let me just go ahead and make the last thing is we need to change the color. So let me go in here, red. So let me go ahead and change this to the same color that we have in here. So let me go ahead and change the stroke color right there. And also maybe the letters we're going to go ahead and change. right there and basically this is what we will have beautiful and this is all the animation that we create right now and so how we can play and put the image inside so let me go ahead and you can save this as a motion template so you can go right click and just export as a motion template and just follow the steps you know I have already another tutorial how to create, so you can just check. Also, you can just go ahead and right click, and that's easy. And so, what we're going to do is go ahead and call Option and duplicate three more times. And then we're going to go ahead and right click this and rename background. And this, we're going to go ahead and rename mask. And this one, we're going to go ahead and rename logo. And then, what we're going to do is move those on the top just leave the background and we're gonna go ahead and grab my image I already have my image you know you can just uh, open any image you want so let me just show you I'll just animate it from up to down as you see and I smooth the animation that's all it's nothing fancy you know not big deal you can go back and as you see and you remember or guess my favorite track mat so let me go ahead and say I got on number four and we don't see anything basically so we're gonna go ahead and select the mask and we'll go essential and graphic panel and we're gonna go ahead and take up uh, I mean just uh, you know take make sure this is selected we're gonna go ahead and actually you know what select the logo and we're gonna go ahead and take red and the image mask and this is what we have and also we need to go ahead and the background we need to take everything except the red and if we play this is what we will have so hit enter and this is what we have okay guys this is all for today hope you guys like it please subscribe and my two YouTube channels, you know, in English and Spanish. And also give us a like on Facebook and Twitter, and Twitter, of course. So make sure, as I said, this is uh, the three parts. So make sure next tutorial will be the last part. And we can create the last project as I show you at the beginning. So let me show you again which one will be the final part. Just play. And this is what we will be creating at the end with the all shapes and parts we've been creating as I said so make sure to keep in tune and see you next time.